loves. So I'm going to do your reading, but I just wanted to give you um, a couple of updates. So first off, June 2nd. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing this before June 2nd. But on June 2nd, I am doing a workshop. It's called Make Them Chase You. It is four hours of intense self-concept manifestation, every single thing that you need to do and know in order to get your SP to chase you, okay? It doesn't matter if you have an SP, if you're in separation. It doesn't matter what your situation is. I will cover all situations. It is four hours. We will be doing meditation, hypnosis, tapping, all the things, okay? You'll be able to access that afterwards as well if you need to get refreshed or if you want to hit like some of the hypnosis or the meditations. In addition to that, so it's $19.99 for four hours of an intense workshop. That's a deal. But in addition to that, you will receive a link after that. You will receive a link where you could book 15 minutes one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So you'll get all the information in the workshop. And then any questions, anything specific to your situation, you will be able to meet with just me one-on-one -on -one for 15 minutes. That's free. Okay. So I'm offering that up to all of you. Go ahead and register. At some point, I'm going to, I'm going to do a cutoff. Okay. I'll only take maybe 20 or 30 people in the um, workshop because it can get over overwhelming with questions and stuff. Number two, um, I do, I have opened up my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. So I've opened up a couple slots on one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, email me and I'll set up a session where, you know, I'll talk to you about your goals and see if you're a good fit for that program. My VIP, it, it is, it's a, it's a VIP community. Okay. Where I meet with you guys twice a week, Mondays for two hours and Thursdays for two hours. This is a, an amazing group, all right? I will I teach new concepts, I do hypnosis, I do tapping, I introduce all different types of somatic healing, everything that you need in order to manifest the life that you want. I talk about SP, I talk about money, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, okay? So that is a live coaching group, a community. You're also in a WhatsApp group where you have access to me 24 seven. So these guys, they'll pose questions for me all day long. I jump in, I answer the questions, I post content, I post um, other people's meditations, things that have helped me, anything that comes up, it goes in the group, okay? This is our family. This is a family for us, that group. It's $49.99 a month. It's absolutely phenomenal. Go on my website if you wanna see testimonials, tons and tons of testimonials, okay? Um, in addition to that, every single week, I will do a one question tarot pull for those people. So they'll, they'll be able to say like, hey, what's coming up with SP? What do I need to know? What do I, do, what do I don't see come or what do I not see coming? Um, they'll be able to ask like whatever question I pull tarot and then I do like a mini coaching session with each individual person in the VIP group. Listen, for $49.99, it is a steal. Get in on that group. If you're not sure about my programs, that's the best place to start because then you're going to see, as soon as you get into the group, you're going to see every single person is having wins every day, okay? And we build a lot of momentum. We build a lot of energy and synergy in that group. Um, there's a lot of OGs in the group too. So if I don't answer right away, the OGs will pop in with like, hey, use this meditation or try this or do this. So again, it's a family. A um, couple other things. I have Love Mastery. It is currently 50% off this month. I may extend that, okay? Because I didn't really market that this month. I didn't really communicate it out to um, my, my people. Love Mastery it is incredible. You need to take self-concept first. Self-concept is free. Go to my webpage. Take the self-concept workshop first. That's free. That is like the foundation. And then love mastery. I teach you how to master love relationships, including how to get your SP. So the make what's what's the difference between love mastery and get them to chase you? Get them to chase you is like super intense. You are going to be a goddess when you come out of that. Okay. Love mastery is just learning manifestation techniques, staying in your own frame. I explain like some of the quantum fields. I explain state of being, those types of things. 
that's about two to three hours. Again, make them chase you is going to be about four hours. And it is nothing like any of the other programs that I have out there. Okay. So if you've taken all my other programs, make them chase you, you're going to get like massive nuggets in that as well. Okay. That's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, post them down below, or you can email me at life mastery with Robin, um, at gmail.com. Just email me with your questions and I will get back to you. All right. I love you guys. Enjoy the reading. Pisces, let's do your reading. What's going on in love? You deserve love. You are lovable. Could have um, Sagittarius placements. You or the person that you're dealing with, you got to check all placements. I say this all the time. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. At least check those. And codependency. You deserve love. And addictions are affecting your romantic life. So codependency is being addicted to something outside of you, being dependent on something outside of you to make you feel better. So that could be a person, place, thing, habit. Okay, you're codependent on this person that you think is your soulmate. I gotta cover this up. Lovers behind there, but in reverse. Everybody's a soulmate. Oh, it's a special bond. That's limerence. Relax, chill out. It doesn't matter. It's your beliefs that are screwing this up. It has nothing to do with divine timing or any of that other bullshit. It's your beliefs about relationships. It's your codependency that keeps you stuck in these types of relationships where they're screwing you over all the time. Like that seven of swords is someone like a thief in the night. That could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Your emotions are all over the place. I have temperance in reverse. And then five, so temperance in reverse, meaning your temper has been activated. Your emotions are all over. And you want to like get back at this person? Like tit for tat. Oh, I'll show them kind of thing. It's really low vibe. Get out of that energy. Like you want the relationship and you want the security. You just don't know how to get there. Okay. This tells me that it's available that timeline, they're both reversed, meaning that you're you're near the timeline, but like you're not moving in that direction. Like I ask, what's the highest possible timeline in your vicinity? That's you in love and you getting the security that you desire. But not with these people. I don't care. I don't care if you think that they're your long lost, whatever. I don't care what label you put on them. I don't care what you think they are. The problem, the lesson here is, will you keep screwing yourself over? Will you keep choosing them instead of you? That's the problem. That's why you're here. That's why none of these relationships work out for you because you're putting them on a pedestal and you're, you're then saying to yourself, you're nothing. You're only something if they tell you that they love you, if they text you, if they come in, right, and want to be with you. That's the only way that you're ever going to be something. You're nothing. That's what you're telling yourself, okay? Every time you choose douchebags like this. You're saying, screw you and what you want. Just take what you can get. And that's kind of shitty. So stop doing that. Work on your self-concept. Okay, when you stop doing that, then you get this two of cups. 
with this person. I don't know why you'd want to be with this person. You got to, like, guys, I say this in my coaching groups all the time. You got to question yourself. Why do you want to be with a person who treats you like shit? Oh, they're my soulmate. Oh, we're in love. No, you're fucking not. You're not in love. Everybody's a soulmate. They're your pattern. That's all you know from your childhood. All you know is bullshit. All you know is this. So that's all you gravitate towards. That's all you keep choosing. The person who comes in and loves you and gives you exactly what you desire, you push them away. Because they're not your pattern. Well, you got to change your mindset to make them your pattern. Oh, they're boring. Why? Why are they boring? Don't you deserve to get what you want? Don't you deserve for love to be easy? That's boring. Because they're not your pattern. That's why they're boring. Your pattern is what you were trained as a child to just accept. Listen, you're going to get the bare minimum. Just be happy you're getting that. And you grew up thinking that that's true. You got to debunk that with the you deserve love. That tells me that you don't yet realize. You just think you need to keep putting in more work to convince them to love you. There's something here with your throat too. Mm, too many. Sorry. I'm taking all of those. There's something here with throat chakra kind of about communicating. Like you may babble, but never really ask to get your needs met. <sighs> Isolation. When you're not getting your needs met, you're going to self-isolate. And you're looking at yourself like a victim. Nothing ever works out for me. I always get screwed over. Because you keep choosing people who will screw you over discernment, self-concept, work on your self-concept. Start using discernment with these douchebags. Stop letting them into your life so quickly. Stop letting your pattern run your life. What else do we need to know? I know this is coming across as like super harsh, but like, listen, I wish somebody told me this stuff back in the day. When I was allowing douchebags, I was codependent as hell. When I was allowing douchebags to come in and treat me like shit and then trying to beg them to love me and pay attention. Pff, ugh. I'm glad I got over that. Oh. Okay. You need to make a choice. You know you need to make a choice. I just did a video. I posted it on YouTube or on uh TikTok, so it'll go out on all of my things about walking away. You're avoiding. You're avoiding making the choice and walking away because you think it's going to hurt. You want to know what's going to hurt worse in five years when you're still dealing with this douchebag and you're still crying over him and you never, ever, ever get this. That's going to hurt. In coaching, I tell these guys all the time, stop doing this shit for the short-term gains. Oh, I just want a text message from him. What does a text message mean? Not a damn thing. It doesn't mean that they're going to love and, and be with you for the rest of your life. Say a text message, they could text you and be like, stop texting me. I can't stand you. Stop. Stop. Acting and, and using strategies just to prevent the short-term stuff that you don't want to deal with. You got to think strategically long-term. Where do you want to be in a year? You want to be in a loving, committed relationship. Then you have to stop behaving like this. You have to stop allowing this shit. That's it. Stop allowing it. And then I have peaks of joy. Popped in in reverse, but that tells me that you could have. Think of the fool in the regular tarot. You can be this. 
you can get there. It's going to take you walking away from this bullshit and start putting yourself first. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Hold on. Go outside. You've been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Okay. That's great advice. Go outside, get some fresh air, and have some compassion for yourself. All right. I love you. You got this. <laughs>